Hello, and welcome to LNW Last Man Standing Podcast. This is the first one with Will, Leon, and Tony doing Oregon Trail. Hey, guys. Hi. Oh, my God. We're here. This is it. This is a thing. This is a thing. So what we're doing, guys, is uh, this is, like you said, the Last Man Standing Podcast. Basically, how this works is we play a game, normally multiplayer. This one isn't. And basically, we uh, see who survives the longest. Uh, it's the Last Man Standing as soon as somebody dies, they're off the podcast. They just leave. They're not allowed to say anything. Mm -hmm. So have to stop mid-sentence. Mid-sentence, they are just gone. So I'm going to be playing while we sort of discuss some topics. We're going to get started here, though. We're going to, you know, we'll Should, get the game going. Shall we tell them the, the, the rules real quick of what we're doing? Yeah, or? so the general idea here is, so the three of us are going to be the, the three sort of side characters, but the main person is just going to be our buddy Jim. Jim is no one. Jim, Jim is... Jim's well, a nobody. We're going to we're going to decide right now who Jim is. So we're we're gonna we're gonna vote basically. Uh, what would you like him to be, Tony? <sighs> you see, I really want like a group to speak about this, not like going one by one. But I would po say possibly cop, or you know, find out what the difference are differences are. Yeah, it's basically how easy the game is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so so I mean, who who wants easy? Who wants hard? Who wants medium? Let's make him the most boring. Boring. He's a clerk. Okay. Clerk. He's a clerk. Okay. I. Clerk is pretty Jersey boring. Jersey City. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the first name of the wagon leader? Jim. Does he have a last name? Uh, what was my name in Game Dev Type Tune? Kogorski. Oh, <laughs> Kogwa. 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 There Jim we go. Kogwa. Pretty sure that's racist. Okay. First up, I, I lead. Leon. Then we got Will. Oh, God, there's more than... Man. We have a fifth. Uh, oh, what do we do? Wild card for redo. No, no, no. Jackal. 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 The dog. Here. My dog is a part of this now. <laughs> you can't let personal feelings come into this game at, at, when, when we have to shoot Jackal. No. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Why? 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 There we go. Come on, how many played an old game? Look, I'm, I'm stupid. The end of the world. I don't know. Those people look fine. Mm -hmm. Press space bar. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is the end of the world. You are in the ruins of Washington, D.C. You must decide when you will flee the city. When do you guys want to flee? Um... I want to be able to see. So, 8 a.m.? Probably 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. sounds good to me. Dawn of the first light. Let's do it! Dawn of the first day. The, the city is lost. Serious business. The government has issued a warning to all survivors. Washington, D.C. will be wiped out with a nuclear strike. Now, who would issue that order? Who would actually say that's what we're going to do? Who was yeah. president during Raccoon City? You have a limited number of hours to gather supplies. That's a fair point. Um, so, <laughs> so this is this is Oregon Trail, which is a spinoff of Oregon Trail, which I'm sure you've heard of. If not, look it up. It's a fairly famous I really bit. hope... Like, it's insane. Before we, we, we actually get into the game, which I think it says, you leave at this point, so we gather the supplies and it says, like, you leave. And then that's, I think, when we actually start, but I hope we can die of dysentery. Okay, so guys... I, I hope that's a thing. Yeah. So guys, we can scout for 16 hours. We're gonna start with gas. How long, uh... Uh, and I don't want to press space bar, okay. So, um, for four hours on a tank of gas, I recommend at least 24 tanks of gas. Uh, okay, how long do you guys want to spend on the gas? Eight hours. Eight hours? No. Um, Just go through the whole thing without... Uh, well, well, like, without with, food. With this. No. We no. need food. We've only got 16 I mean, hours, dude. I mean, grab... Oh, 16 hours? 16 hours, oh, dude. Oh, dang. Never mind. I'm have, sorry. Oh, Jesus I thought Christ. It was, I thought it was more. I no. just heard you. So, at least 24 is three hours. So, four hours? Four or five hours? I think four. Oh, my God. Okay, that's... We need a lot of stuff, guys. True. But I do more. I... Okay, well, four you, hours. That's fine. Okay, you can probably change it if we mess up food. Food. Okay. I think we want the same amount of food. Um, okay. So... Five people in all can be... Okay. So we can get 125 ounces an hour. How much does it... 200 ounces a person per day? Uh... Or is that... No. No, it's just on the trip. Okay. Uh, how much is an ounce... How much do they consume an ounce per day? I don't fucking know. How much do we eat... How much do you eat in a day? You're one of the people. Like three cows. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You buy America for two cows. I, One whole dinner. I um, I tend to have a an entire truck. Just a truck. Um, not even food inside of it. Just the truck. There's a guy, apparently, that over the course of, like, 15 years, took a bicycle and, like, 
ground it into powder and ate it. Now, why would he do that? I don't know. Just because he can. Over over the course of 15... Who has... Uh, first who, off... It's like the guy who ate all the nickels. Who ate, first like, off, that's an, a, that's an idea that someone had. I'm going to eat a bicycle. But then he carried that idea for 15 <laughs> years. Like, at he, no point did he stop. He's yeah. not as dedicated as at, I. Not at <laughs> one point, one day out of the 15 years times however many days, 365 days, he's like, you know what? This is retarded. <laughs> so... None. I, I would like to vote that we just go balls to the walls and do 12 hours. 12 hours? No way! All of our time on food. No! No no medical? No medical, no, no spare parts. No! Only! I vote 3 hours food, because we can probably just grab some along the way. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a lot of hunting, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna it, get 4 or it, 5. Oh. I like Will better than you. Okay, yeah. fine, <laughs> fine. Medical right. kits, we need medical kits. Yeah. Do we? Do we though? Yeah. We can buy a spare Couple parts hours. later. Okay, so like two? Yeah. Two? Oh god. So we, we're down to ten hours. Okay. Uh, ammunition. Ammunition is probably the least important, I'd argue. Wanna go two hours? Like, sure. One or two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Twelve hours. Money. I, okay, hey, we can use money to buy spare parts at the next We only place. have four, so two and two, so... Okay. No, either... no, check out spare... Oh. Mmm. Yes. I think that, um... We I'd say batteries and muffler. Okay, yeah, do that. How do I... Oh, how many hours do you want to spend scavenging for tires? Uh, zero. One. One. Wow, you are very good at this. I am a fucking genius of thinking. And then the rest, too. The dead have no use. Uh, what, I won't, uh... Press on it. Well, then. You're ready to start. Good luck! You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. So are you not coming all... Dude, you're gonna, like, die. Are you not coming No, on? man, he's staying for the money. He's doing it for the vine. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we've begun. Um, so let's begin the podcast. We're just yep. gonna... I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll let you know if something horrible happens to you. Okay. Well, so this is a game about zombies. The, 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 the name. Yeah. Oregon Trail. Yes. Um, October! And it is also Halloween month. Blizzard! Yeah. Oh. Blizzard! Oh, Oh, this is, this is terrible. Now we have to fucking deal with, like, Press a release from World of Warcraft? God damn. Oh, man. Ugh. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, so it's about zombies, which is akin to, like, horror games and stuff. Yeah. So, um... You know, I... We should talk about horror games and horror movies and their influences and each other. <laughs> well, I got some bad news. Wow. I got, I got some bad news, dude. Wow, fuck me. <laughs> Literally, like... What keep was that? Talking, keep, 15 just, seconds? You're alive. Yeah, I'm still alive, which just, is good. Just, like, get your fill of talking. Can, can, can you heal me? Okay. Anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, enter if you want to ever... Nah. Look at his health. So... No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you press anything, I want to say how strikingly, like, wonderful and accurate that is. <laughs> A dog wandered off, and you couldn't find them. How do I... Yeah. How do I check on press my... Press space bar. I want to check on my people. Okay. Check on no! the and die instantly? Yep. Yep. Apparently. Dude, the, 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 the trail of Oregon is uh is, is pretty sad. That could have been any of us. Yep. That could have been any of us. You literally could have had to have just left. <laughs> I would have to leave and just keep playing in <laughs> silence. <laughs> I think this is like a very like sobering reminder of it, just how short we have to live in this. This podcast is very depressing. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can heal you, Will. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna try and fix you up. Well, you're better-ish. Um, I mean, you're still you purple. Make it, yeah. You're purple, but you're dying less. Yeah. Uh, continue. So, yeah. Okay. So we want to talk. Well, if you live, we want to talk about you know um, some horror stuff. Um. You reach a town, right? So, and um, things like what movies do, like what makes a movie scary and what makes a video game scary. And you know what 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 things in movies can translate into games and what works and what doesn't and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so perhaps we should just start talking about our favorite movies, our favorite horrifying movies that we still watch time and time again. Right. Well, which is which is funny for me because I don't really like horror very much. It it um I it. I have a very active imagination, so <laughs> I I sort of been horror movie frightens me a little too much. Right. Oh, this is I, pleasant. 
Yeah, we're having some problems over here. Don't worry about us. We're good. You chose the worst. Well, no, I didn't because I'm alive. Well, anyway, so the, just speaking of horror movies, we like to start out, out on. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so I mean, I'll start. Um, I'm like, a, I'm a huge fan of horror movies. Obviously, it's kind of a, a thing for me. Um, and uh, a, like a big one early on had been uh, the Ring, the Japanese version. Obviously, you're better. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, I have a question. When sure. when we die, can we have like one final word? You may you may have death throws, but you only get like five seconds. Okay. Um, you literally just cut out, like, so you can go like, and just because that's what you're gonna hear. Okay, good. Um, so, uh, the Japanese version of the Ring, Ringu and Juon, were both very important to me because American horror movies tend to, oh, cool, tend to be very, uh, I mean, kind of based on the jump scares, and I really appreciate the much creepier atmosphere of the Japanese ones. Uh, and one that I discovered recently that was very uh, important to me um, wa was uh, the Blair Witch Project. Uh, and I know it's a, sort of an obvious one to say, but uh, it's still uh, it's still always been a big deal to me. Um, and, and so, I mean, you know, that, that sticks out in my mind. Uh, what about you guys? Um, I, you know, I, since I, I'm not a big patron of um, horror movies, um, I, I mean, I, I really like a lot of suspense movies. Like, suspense thriller is a... I, I love... Have you ever seen, um... Uh... No Country for Old Men? Yeah. Um, that's probably one of my favorite sort of just on-edge movies. It's not scary. Right. I mean, the, the main antagonist is a little scary. Yeah. But anyway. Um... But... Movies akin to that that tread in horror mm -hmm. like that have horror aspects but focus on thriller are really my kind of movies right um i remember one year we watched the silent hill movie oh uh, yeah there, there have been a couple of them aren't they there's, there's, two. there's two there's one that's terrible and one that's okay yeah we watched the okay one yeah we did um was the first one the yeah the first one was the okay one the other one's hilarious yeah that one sort of scared the shit out of me and i didn't like horror for a while but yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of back. Uh, can we... I want to see if I can go hunting. Scouting for food. Sorry, I'm... Yeah, I'm playing a fucking game. Um, yeah, but... So... I'm mean, continue. I'm listening. Um, I don't know. I, like, I haven't had as much experience with horror movies as I have horror games. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know how useful I'll be in the... Uh... <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> in this is a fine green paste. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Tony? Like any, okay. any big horror movies for you? Well, here's the thing. You know that I'm not too big on horror movies. Like, cause you're a massive pussy. That that is what the doctor says. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. A doctor actually said that to me. That's amazing. I wow. <laughs> yeah, I got jack shit out of that. Let's try that again. I can actually say that I've been diagnosed with that. Uh, you should probably see a new doctor. Because if he looked at you and just said, you're a massive she. vagina. Well, she looked... She's a bit confused then, I gotta no. tell you. But anyway, so... Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Movies... <sighs> oh, God. Of all the ones I've seen, the only ones I can think of are the really cheesy, terrible ones that I... <laughs> well, that, yeah. I don't really count those as horror movies, No. Though. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, More comedies. Okay. If they're yeah. trying to be a horror movie. Yeah. Did you ever see, um, oh god, what was it called? Leprechaun? Oh my god, that movie's amazing. <laughs> like, that game, that game, that movie is hilarious, but it's not horrifying at all. There we go, that's a little better. Oh, uh, that, okay, okay, uh, gosh, there was, um, Under the Bed was a movie that was supposed to be horror. And just it, Under Your Bed. <laughs> not like, <laughs> not, any, not the movie. Here lies Andy Pepperoni and Chase. Pepperoni and Chase. But anyways, Under the Bed was, um... Okay. Like, it was somewhat decent. And and, and and the fact that I could watch it all the way through, but uh -huh. it wasn't scary. And no. you were no with No! <laughs> I'm, I'm currently waiting for myself to wander off. <laughs> you're, just gonna, you're gonna go find Jackal. That's right, Jackal, you're dead. So anyways, um, Under the Bed was a movie where it's... It tried to use a bunch, or not, it tried to use jump scares. Right. 
it, it, it didn't have an atmosphere of terror. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. And movies like that are the ones that I've really been exposed to a lot. There, there's only one thing I can think of. It's not even a movie that I, I that actually made me like clutch my throat at sometimes, like just like and bundle myself up in fear. Another is an anime. It's not a movie. It's it's an anime series called Another, and that one actually did scare me. Interesting. I've never actually uh, I've never heard of it. Um, well, I've heard of it. I mean, I just never I've never seen it. It it reminded me of Higurashi a bit, but oh god, but, but, but just like <laughs> that one I know. Yeah. Here, like like I know there's probably some people right now batting their heads like it's not that, <laughs> but um, it reminded me uh, a, a bit when I first watched it because of sort of the eerie atmosphere going on. It, it's it's like you you know something's up. Right. There's obviously something up, and you feel at times that there's some point when it feels like you're watching a horror movie, like you're actually scared of what the scene will happen next. Now, now Tony, I feel like you need to bring up uh, your first experience with anime that had a rather horrifying end. Um, don't you feel... I mean, that's. I feel like that's relevant in the land of terror and fear, don't you? Just because it, it comes out of complete left field. Do you want, you don't want to talk about a uh, uh, little show you saw? Um, which, you found two shopping carts. How did you know I carry... <laughs> I'm a little... I'm a little dumb. Uh, you, you talked about a uh, little, uh, school days? School oh days? my gosh. Okay, so... Well, okay. School of the Dead? No, no School oh, Days. No, oh, no. School, school Days. School you days. ever heard of it? No, I haven't. Here's the thing, okay, so do it's you mind if I spoil... Show. I'm um, not gonna watch it. Okay, so... Oh, thank God. So, yeah. Spoilers for this, by the way, if you want to watch it. Uh, spoilers for the show School Days. There's probably gonna be some spoilers for a lot of horror things, by the way. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, let's just say this right now for a spoiler warning for a lot of things. I'm fucking back. I'm back in the game. Nice. Check and your health real quick. If you're oh, watching fine, this and, and, and expecting not to have spoilers, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. We're a right, podcast. Yeah. You're a fool. Continue. Um. So, anyways, this is my experience with uh, anime. Mm. Cartoon Network had Toonami on it when I was a little kid, right? Mm. And they had shows like Hamtaro, Gundam, and Watch Yuyasha or sometimes. And, 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 and you know, it, it's, it's like your basic little melting pot of anime. Your, yeah. your sampling pack. Your basic your sampling pack. I it, like that. It was like the gateway drug. Yeah. It, it, it really was. So then I'm I'm then in um six se- like like sixth seventh or eighth grade. You know, sometime in middle school. It's when I really first decided to go out onto the internet and say I'm gonna watch anime my, on my own. I'm gonna go and look for something. And the very first thing I saw on YouTube was this little clip of something called School Days. Now. School Days, when I first watched it, it's like, I don't know, like 12 or 24 episodes. It's been too long, but, you know, it's like one season. Right. And you open it up, or, or you, you open up, and it's a drama, a soap opera, basically. Hmm. Of terrible, terrible, by the way. Right. Really silly. It's like, like for a middle schooler with, with no time... Or, or with, with, with time to kill, it, it's like okay, man, I'll 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 watch this. Why not? Oh, I love it, but it's it's absurd. Oh no, it, it, it's incredibly uh, absurd, especially towards the end because this is <laughs> what happens. So the it starts out with like there's this boy, and then there's this girl, and the uh, and then the, the boy's best friend or you know, someone who like teases him in class, you know that kind of uh, whatever you call it, that kind of relationship. Yeah. So anyways, he likes this girl. I and call that butt buddies. And, and and the girl in his class is like, hey man, don't worry, I'll man, I'll hook you up. I know this girl. I know this. And he's like, really? And she's like, yeah, kind of. And then she becomes friends with him, introduces the two, and then they start going out. So then she finds out that um, the boy and the girl aren't really doing that much, and he and, and he hasn't really had much experience. So she's like, practice on me. Yeah, because you know that oh, always ends yeah, well. This is good. like one fourth of the way through the series. Practice on me. And because like like you know hidden and like, by that she means practice in me. That <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's the, and and then so like the boy gets bored and then over the course of the thing, he like dumps her doesn't dump her, like it, it, it's just like this whole awkward high school drama thing, and at episode like eighteen, literally two episodes before the end of the thing, um everything seems to, like go downhill he's sleeping with like a bunch of girls the girl the other one has like a sister his it's suddenly getting like really dark it's 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 really dark and it's around like christmas time and wow. so she invites him over for a dinner 
And at this point, the two girls were clawing at each other's necks, and, and like he, it wasn't really clear on which one he wanted to be with because he was leading one on, possibly leading the other, everything, like you know, like that. So I'm watching this as a middle schooler going, oh man, you know what, this is a pretty good story. I really want to see like this realistic ending, or, or, or I'm sorry, I really want to see this ending, which it can't be like realistic or something happy ending, but it's still probably going to be wonderful. So right when I think that, I go on to, I'm halfway through the second to last episode, and they're about to have dinner. They invite him over. The start of the next episode, they start dinner. The one girl is chopping up onions or something, like food, just making food. Teapot's steaming, and then finally it's whistling. And he, like, gets up to go into his room or her room or something, walks down the hall, goes over, and notice, and, like, like is, is just in his room. She stand, uh, she, she's waiting for him, blocking the entrance of going out of his room with a knife. And then it's like really creepy. So it's like, oh man, what's going to happen? It's really dramatic. But you know, they're never going to do anything because it's a soap opera and obviously they're going to have a, some kind of a good ending. She ends up dismembering his body, putting it into a trash bag, letting the blood leak through. I think she killed her little sister in the process. The I have measles. Oh god. Uh, you forget the part also where the other girls... That's not it yet. Okay. The, the other girl called and texted the boy who's now dead and dismembered inside a plastic bag and says like I'm pregnant oh shit oh man yeah gain also property and then so after that the girl went, uh, picks up the phone sees it and then she's like meet me on the roof meet me on the roof so they go to the you know typical high school roof which is only reserved for the main characters yeah by the way I want that roof yeah yeah mm -hmm. So they, that's, that's apparent in literally every anime, basically. It, it's like it's the, the same roof too. It's like the only location in Baka to test. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, it, uh, every single anime shares that like roof with the prop department of each other, just like BBC shares <laughs> everything. Yeah, they have to they have to like call each other ahead of time. Like, hey, listen, dude, like I know. need some character development between four and five. Yeah, dude, Yuri's gonna be up there for a bit, so please don't send up, you know, like. Uh, I can't think of another anime name. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyways, what happens, Will, is they meet on the roof. And, and the girl who just killed the guy was just, like, talking to the girl who says that she's pregnant. And then she's like, hey, you're not him. And then she's like, oh, I know, but don't worry. He's at my place right now. Uh-huh. Is that literally what she says? Oh, that's what I... I, I, so. I that's I, how I, he interpreted it. <laughs> that's how I interpreted it. So, I mean, anyways, well. what happens is she lunges at the girl with a knife. Right. And the girl pulls out like a, a bone saw out of nowhere what just pulls out a medical saw and she's like Shh, and there's like the little anime clash thing where they go past each other and you don't know which who hit who yeah and and then it's just like oh man what's going on what's going on one of them falls she slit open the girl that said she was pregnant and then she like walks over leans over to her gets up close and she's like okay hold on and then the screen goes black and then finally a little bit of light shines through the screen and then it opens up a slice as she and then you you see the girl's face who just killed her and she's cutting up the stump open the stomach and she's like just as i thought you are lying you're not pregnant she That's uh, fucked up. she yeah. right before this that though, his first experience by the way right before that she sent the girl who said she was pregnant to look up in a uh, look at a gym bag and it has the boy's head just in there like don't worry he's with me he's right there on the bench open up the gym bag his head just oh good so, so it's a lovely it sword don't it? oh my god <laughs> it ends with just a beautiful yacht or sailboat and then she's hugging the head on the sailboat that's she's just brave okay that was my first uh, oh my god no you're alive you're alive I, I know you're hurt no you kill me nah no, you, I will. No, okay. No. So, so, okay. Um, you'll, you'll be fine. Um, but so, yeah, so that was Tony's first experience with, uh, anime, basically. That's, yeah. that, but, th that's my introduction to what it should be. So you're no longer sick. But so, um, I think, like, we do a disservice if we, if we talk about, uh, if we talk about, like, filmed horror, if we don't bring up Marble Hornets. Because... For all of the shows that exist that try to be scary, in my opinion, there's only three that have ever succeeded in being scary in any capacity. Two which weren't really just about being scary. One is The Twilight Zone, 
just was scary yeah. by being what it was. Twilight was. If you're gonna argue the Twilight Zone didn't have scary episodes, then you're a fucking. They liar. had scary episodes. It wasn't. It's not a scary show, but the show had terror. very scary episodes. It had terror. Okay, fair enough. They are large and agitated. We'll get into we'll get into that. Um, yeah, I'm always large and agitated. Um, Tony votes three. Like, wait to see if they disperse, because like if Fine. if they're docile, you can just go through probably. Uh, medium alert. I'm gonna break out weapons. Break out weapons. Uh, okay. So, but, so the second one I would say is X-Files. X-Files, um, oh, shit. Well, why'd they take my money? Why'd they rob me? Anyway, um, okay. Check our health. I'm sure we're fine. Eh, it never wants to do it when I want it to. Well, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. So, uh, you know, X-Files is another big one where it just was scary in places and it yeah. did a very good job. Yeah. But the only show that I think was made to be scary and is just consistently scary is Marble Hornets, which is of course the Slenderman show. Yeah. Um, the... I really need to uh, go for food. Yeah. Um, well, good for Tony. We'll rest for a bit. Um, well, our rations gonna... are filling. Well, no, 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 no. That's what you're intaking. Yeah, that's you. You are filling. Like, like I. You are uh, eating I'm, a lot of food. I'm basically. filling you. I'm filling you, Will. Okay. Um, so who who here has seen uh, Marble Hornets? Will I haven't seen. seen is that the YouTube? That's yeah. the YouTube show about Slenderman, the original. I've seen about thirty episodes. After that, I couldn't keep. Is going. Marble Hornets making uh, other shorts or, or made no. other shorts? No, they only ever do that, and they never break character. Yeah. Like you can call, you can Twitter the guy, and he will only be his character. So I'm gonna say you haven't seen it. You would no. know if you had seen it. Yeah. So Marble Hornets is basically the thing that made Slenderman one interesting and two popular, yeah. and that show is, is just extremely, I think, important for how one, how do you do found footage, and two, just how do you do a consistent show that's supposed to be scary, and they they succeed. They they do it amazingly. It ha does it have a problem? Does it have its problems? Yeah. Obviously, it has problems. Every show has its problems, but that show ha is scary and has stayed scary. I, I I've watched all the way up to episode I think 65, and I mean Jesus Christ, that that show is terrifying. It's it's awful. You might hate me here, and some people might 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 possibly hate me for for this opinion, but here's a show that I think has actually had some really scary moments. The show American Horror Story. What I've been shown, you know actually does like like have its own scary moments like it's not a lot of, like like the the okay the parts that don't get me aren't any jump scares or anything there's like i think one or two where i actually like covered my eyes expecting a jump scare <laughs> but the thing is a little pansy ass bitch uh, well i am i've been diagnosed <laughs> with pansy ass bitch injury like <laughs> you've been diagnosed I saw probably, I think, a total of three or four episodes and then was too scared to continue because I'm, I, I, I have that. <laughs> you bitch and dream. Duly noted. So, I mean, Marble Hornets is... is God damn it. It was right there. Um, Marble Hornets is, is, is really, like... If, if you guys haven't seen it, absolutely go see it. Um, well, I'll watch it together. <laughs> no, no. Will does not want to watch that. I show. like sleeping. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure you quit about the time that Maskey showed up. As soon as he showed up, you were like, no, yeah. no, it's not ever. That's just not gonna happen ever. Um, but uh, uh, something interesting. Have there ever been good horror movies with zombies in them? Uh, I'm gonna, mm, like, like, where their main goal was fear. Are, yes. are you saying? Like, because yes, the John Romero yeah. movies are good. But. Yeah, I like zombie movies. Zombie movies are really fun and entertaining. Yeah. But they're not really scary, because... Well, alright, there was... Um, there was one. I don't know exactly what it was. Um, uh, oh, God. I'm, people are going to crucify me for not being able to remember this. It was Will Smith in the city by himself. I Am Legend. I Am Legend. Legend. It's the, the thing the, that came before that. Uh, the thing that's based off the book I Am Legend, yeah, but wasn't yeah, called Man. Yeah. Last Man on Earth, I think it's called. Uh, no. Marathon Man? No. No, 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 not Marathon Man. Omega. 
No, it's not. <laughs> They're uh, all it's Omega something. Though. No, it's not. It's not that. But I, I know what you're talking you're about. You're talking about oh, something else. Oh, it's the one that's based off the book. I think it's not the same title as anything else that's been made a movie it, of. No, okay. It's I Am Legend, but it's not called I Am I'm Legend. Like, yeah. It's called either Last Man on Earth or, or something. something to that effect. I, I know what you're talking about. Yes. That is the single scary zombie movie, in my opinion, because the whole movie is about the fact that you can never fucking sleep. Yeah. That... During the day, you have to kill as many as possible. At night, you have to fucking barricade your house because they will destroy you. They do not care. They will not stop. No matter what you do, they will find a way in. So the only way to keep going is to keep building up your defenses. Yep. It's literally a movie about never sleeping. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the, that's the fear of it. Isn't the zombies. It's that concept of, you're fucked if you ever stop. Yep. Yep. That's what made that scary. So I would say that is the one and only shit. <laughs> that is the one and only scary uh, horror movie, or yeah. not horror movie. You know, now only if I ever zombie. wander off, it's just because I'm surrounded by zombies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got Jim. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Oh shit, we're almost out of food again. God damn, I'm so sick of looking for food. Um, yeah, scavenging for dicks. I'm gonna make you guys eat less. You're all fucking fatties. Yeah. Um. So, with zombie movies, do you think games, as a medium, have the ability to be more scary? Just with zombies? Well, it specifically, but in general. Uh, well, I mean, starting with zombies, I I've would... I've been more scared by a game than ever than by a movie. Yeah, but just starting with zombies, I would say, like... Left 4 Dead legitimately has moments where I feel uncomfortable, which I can't really say for anything well, similar to it. Well, to be fair, the fear that I experienced in Left 4 Dead is not fear of, like, like horror, but of, like, desperation. Yeah. It's like, oh, fuck, I'm running out of options. Oh, God, Strange all right. is what I, I how, yeah. how I always described it. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it's... I, I'm just saying that when you, like, find... When, when you run into a witch and you are by yourself, yeah, that like, moment is like, oh, my... Yeah, and and that that is probably one of the more effective moments I've seen zombies used. Yeah, and and that was in a video. Because I think video games have a better potential. Yeah, they d because you're sort of you're interacting with the world. It's not not the same every single time you see it. So can can I make a controversial statement? Uh, no, of course right? not. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say it right now. Last of Us is um, completely worthless and not good in any capacity. It does not work as a zombie story. It does not work as a monster story. It does not work as a story in general. I can't speak for that because I have not played it yet. <laughs> Neither have I. So I, I just I just know that people love that game, so I'm going to rip it apart and say there is nothing good about that game. Stop being a gamer, gamer hipster. I'm just saying it is literally negative quality. Really? I hate everything about From, it. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, I only played the demo, and what I played from it, it was a fun game. I hate the concept. I hate, Oh, no, I take it back. There is one good thing about that game, and that's Ellie. Ellie is the only good part of that game. I've heard she's pretty, like... She's a well-designed character, but she's the only aspect of that game that's good. Like, see, her dialogue is the only good part. Right here is where I'm turning on Thin Ice, because it's something I've never... I, 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 like, other than the demo, which I played a long time ago, I haven't played it. Right. So... But I'm just going to go, out, go out, uh, out on a limb here and say that from what I've talked with you about, we've had different um, opinions on, on subject matter like this. True. Where, 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 like, that type of game in specific is, like, it's good gameplay. I know that, uh, or from, from the demo, clearing this out, from the demo, I feel that it is really fun, really yeah. good gameplay. I can't I comment on the story because, I mean, it, it's a yeah. demo. Right. Yeah, I don't... Like, I'm just... Like, I know I know. there's a lot of people who really like that, and, like, they bought, like, PS3s for that. They bought PS3s for yeah. some people. Yeah, I've, I've uh, people. But just, that. no. I, yeah, no. That's all I gotta say about that. So th that's my two cents on a popular zombie game. Yeah. Can we, uh, while, we're on, while I'm being unpopular, because I like that, uh, would you mind if I switch over to, uh, to Ghosts and the Paranormal a little bit here? Sure, go ahead. Uh, hey, Beyond Two Souls also sucks dick. Sorry, guys. You just really don't like the uh, what? What was it? Quantum. Uh, quantum. Uh, quantum dreams. Quantum dreams. Yes. Uh, just because they're a company made of good concepts and horrible execution. Um, Beyond Two Souls. Here's the problem with Beyond Two Souls. Half the game is a ten out of ten. The other half is like a negative three. Like, like it's literally split down the middle. 
It's as soon as anything relating to the government shows up, suddenly the whole game breaks down in logic. It starts out as a very lonely, sad horror story, and suddenly it turns into an action game. Yeah. Like, so... It's such a 180-degree turn that it literally broke my brain. Like, I just stopped and said, how is this happening? What is going on here? Like, did a new person start writing this story? Because the other part's all about character, and it's all about the struggle of humanity, and, and, like, and like how you as a person can change things, and how just because you're different doesn't mean you're not helpful, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Um, and then suddenly, we gotta stop them Chinese terrorists! They're gonna blow up the Earth! And it's bullshit. That's my two cents. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna continue with this topic, though. Uh, a lot of people really like, um, for instance, the movie Poltergeist. Ghosts have been very popular recently. Yeah. Um, I mean, Paranormal, Paranormal activity, activity, a lot That's of things. A big one, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, my sister loves ghosts. Like, 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 oh. in, in specific, ghost movies. I, I think ghost movies are great. Uh, one of my, th there's a little movie that if you can ever find it, please do, and it's called House. Uh, my dad Jap made me watch that, and I <laughs> the, loved it. The Japanese one? No. Okay, sorry. I'm talking American. No, 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 no. no. The I Japanese, the Japanese movie House. It is incredible. Is it like a uh, basically mind bending? Uh, it is an extremely low budget, almost Ed Wood quality movie. But here's what That's the guy the did. Kind of movie. Here's what the guy did. The guy basically said, "Okay, you've told me make a horror movie. You have given me no budget. You have given me no actors. You have given me nothing. Fuck it. I'm gonna roll with that." So. He intentionally made everything look as low quality as humanly possible, except for the biggest jump scares. Those he put, like, all of his money into, and then everything else, he intentionally made look weird. Like, like it uses, like, hand-drawn animation, like, cartoon stuff for jump scares. It uses, like, things on strings. But because it does that, everything has that weird uncanny valley feeling to it. Oh, that's cool. I really need to see this now. I will show you guys a trailer afterwards. And the trailer will make you uncomfortable. That's what the movie does the whole time. It just makes you feel wrong. Like, everything feels... Like, like you know the horror movie tropes. You know that something's yeah. going to jump out and it's going to be a scary face. But then it jumps out and it's a, it's a cartoon cat. <laughs> and suddenly that's upsetting. You're like, I don't... Why is this not what I want it to be? Like, your brain is anticipating something else and it isn't. And that somehow is worse. So, like, that to me is incredible and it captures ghosts perfectly. Just the idea of it's just kind of wrong. It's not totally. It's not like a monster where it's like, oh well that's fucked up. I'm talking so much by the way. You can uh, yeah. you can take over. I'm just I'm in a rant. No man, you're just taking your time before you wander before off. Before I become a corpse. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Well I we're both zombies at this point. That's true. Um, so I I apologize. You guys you, you take over for a bit. I'm gonna um, eat. I, I actually uh, just watched uh, a pilot of the show a couple days ago called Sleeping Hollow. Ooh. Oh, which is, I know which one you're talking about. Which was, I watched it. Uh, yeah, it was... Get your fucking foot down, dude. Damn it. <laughs> I was... I, I watched it, and, like, it had no... It didn't seem like it had any intentions of being a horror horror show at all. I mean, it was suspense. It was about this... Spoilers. It was about this guy who was... Like, he was... He fought in the Civil, Civil War... Civil War? Civil War. Uh, quick uh, no, no, I just realized I've been War. just grabbing food for like the past ten oh. minutes. <laughs> no. Like, totally. It, yeah, yeah. Revolutionary, because okay. he yeah, fought yeah, alongside yeah, Washington. Yeah, 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 Revolutionary War. I forgot that he was with, with uh, Washington. Anyway, so he gets... Kind, he to give a sound. He kind of ki got killed, but he killed someone else. He, he beheaded them. But, so he wakes up in modern day in this cave, and he's like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and it, it reminded me a lot of, um, I can't for the life of me remember the movie, but it was about this vampire who was, like, the owner of this mansion, but he, he uh, died and then... Uh, Dark Shadows. Yeah, probably. It was that, that Johnny Depp movie. It was a remake of an old TV show. Yeah, yes. yeah. Dark yeah, that Johnny Depp movie, Was yeah. it Don, Johnny Depp? Yeah, Johnny Depp was, uh... Bartholomew was his name? Yeah. Bartimus? Bartimus. Bartimus. Yes, yes. That's Bartimus. It. That's it. That, okay, um, I know a lot of people hated that movie. I thought it was great. I thought I it was fantastic. It. I thought it was amazing. It was so well done. Unpopular opinion day. Yep, exactly. But anyway, so this Sleeman, apparently, so this guy, he, he, he wakes up like 250 years later, and the police find him, and they're like, you're, he, clearly he's insane, because he thinks that he fought next to Washington, and was in the Revolutionary War, and it's like, 
weird shit happened. So, but it turns out the guy that he beheaded was Death. He was actually huh. like uh, one horsemen. of the headless horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, and so he wakes up, and Death also wakes up. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. And a whole bunch of, like, symbolism with the four trees and the book of revelations and shit. Mm. And it's, like, really, 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 actually, I thought it was really well done. Um, which I didn't think, like, I don't think TV shows can do that kind of stuff well as well as, like, movies or right. one-offs can. Just because, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What? All right. Are you going to become a fucking tyrant? I don't know. Um, anyway, so, um... So, so uh, things progress, and there's this guy that, like, the actual devil shows up. He makes an appearance, and he's, you can't, you like, he's blurry. You can't see him. He's sort of, like, phasing in and out of existence. But he's, he's like, very tall, pale, like, he's completely naked, but there's nothing there. But, like, kind of dark tint skin tone with the ram's head. That's, like, kind of the devil trope. Yeah. Yeah. And the moment that kind of got me was the point where um, there was this guy that was, like, trying to accelerate this, help the death. Right. Um, and mm-hmm. But he had failed in what he had done, so the devil came to give him a visit. You and got cured of the T-virus. Oh, cool. So he, he comes in, and um, he, this guy's locked in the jail cell, and the devil shows up. And he basically says, you have failed... You have failed. And then he, he makes a sweeping motion with his arm, and the guy's head snaps back 180 degrees. Holy like, shit. he's facing away. He's, his back is face upside down. You're like, what? Okay. And it's not, he's like very small in the frame, so it's not like, he, it's not like it was a close-up of his face showing it like real back, but it was like really, really unsettling, and that like transitioned it into like suspense horror. I By the way, real quick. Sorry guys, that was my being stupid. Um, I, your story will be fine, but for about 0.5 seconds, no one will hear you because I turned off the recording. I turned it back on. It's fine. But where? It was literally just like you were, you were like Ram's head, and then it oh. cut out for half a okay, second. Okay, okay. I would like to say that I, I love that you brought that up because that's exactly the same moment when it transferred it to me. Yeah, it was like the devil appearing. Yeah, it was like it's suspenseful and it's thrilling. And I really like the characters, but it's not really horrifying. I don't feel fear. And at that point, you're like, oh, 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 fuck, I, oh, I'm shit. I'm afraid. Yeah, it's like, that's actually, like, that's, dis- that's unnerving. That's terror right right there. Yeah. And then you see him walk away, like, the, the two main uh, protagonists walk in, and they see the guy's head snapped back. And they see the mirror on the far wall is not actually being a mirror at the point. It's the devil... It shows the devil walking away into a forest. Nice. And then it, like, he does some weird shit, and it's like a jump scare. He does scare. some devil stuff. Yeah, it's a it's, jump scare. But, um, it's not too much of a jump scare, though, but well, it's still it's, scary enough. Yeah, it's still scary enough, and the mirror shatters, and it's, like, it's actually very... It has a lot of symbolism, hmm. which I think is, is very good. Um, which I think is really important in horror, is the symbolism of fear. Right. So, like... Oh, okay, how, I see what you... How it's, like... It's not horrifying because nothing means anything until you give it give it symbolism. Right. Well, I mean, that's uh, pretty much the basis of all of Silent Hill. Yeah. Is, you know, everything, everything means something. Yeah, there's a meaning behind everything. And that, to me, is sort of like where the fear comes from. Um, Great, we're dehydrated. Oh, good. Can you go scavenge for water? No. <laughs> well, look, I'm double bitten. <laughs> How are we doing? Do you have two skulls next to you? No. No. Um, we're fine. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think, let's, uh, I mean, you know, we're pretty far now, so let's move on to, uh, talking about video games a little bit more. Um, now, before we go really into underrated, overrated, that kind of stuff, let's just sort of get a, get a grounds and say, like, what, what are some of your favorite horror games? Like, you don't need a particular order or anything, just some of your favorites. Um, I mean... Mine are going to be pretty obvious. Right up, literally at the very top, is Silent Hill. Uh, the first the first three, and specifically two. Yeah. Silent Hill 2 sort of sticks out in my mind as... It's sort of like the dichotomy of horror yeah. games. Like, it, it is... Every horror game should aspire to 
have something in common somewhere with Silent Hill 2, basically, because Silent Hill 2 does everything right in my We're opinion. We're gonna need to have a talk about this one day, because it's not that I don't like Silent Hill, right? Right. I'm here's what here's my claim. I will literally shoot it you. It didn't in the face. age well. No, I will well, literally shoot you. As a game, like as in terms game, of game and gameplay, as a story, it ages perfectly. Horror, yeah. horror, it didn't age well. Uh, like the horror in the game didn't age well either. I'm literally gonna shoot you. I'm oh, gonna I'm go sorry. get a gun. I You're had a seven-year-old play through it. Well, I on don't... PS3, literally just going. Don't why you play it on a PS3, you fucking dumbass? I had someone else play it on the PS2, and they weren't scared at all. And this was someone who actually wouldn't go to a horror movie. Well, I'll bet you that they're a mentally retarded person then, because they didn't understand the story and understand the fear that comes with the fucking story. Yeah, to the be... point of Silent Hill is not that it has jump scares and not that it has anything really that's terrifying. It is the concept. It is thinking about what is happening, and it sticks with you. If it... I took, it is the fact. That when you sit down and think about it, you think about a man whose entire life is based around, at that moment, the fact that he has created his own personal hell in his own mind, okay, and it is so punishing question. him. If I took a 19-year-old man, an 18-year-old man, and another 19-year-old man, and had them sit down and play Silent Hill, either two or three for the first time, would they be scared shitless? No, they wouldn't be scared shitless. It's would not about be being scared? scared shitless. Would they be scared at all? I hope so. Yes, Leon, unless there's some sort of mentally disabled person. Like Grant, you. Will, and Caleb, all on three separate occasions. Okay, they don't know who they are, and also, yeah, that's not a strong argument, dude. For what? They're, I literally had three separate people play, all with literally different personalities. And Will games. doesn't have a personality. <laughs> That's mean. No, yeah. Will doesn't get scared, I should say. This is a different Will, by the yeah, way. Yeah, a different Will. Will doesn't get scared. Caleb, you really think Caleb's gonna give a C fuck? Yeah. Caleb is a very stoic man. He was the only man who was partially scared. It's, look. And he laughed at also, it Also, by the way, dumbass, you can't play two players. It's not a fucking multiplayer I game. I put him in a separate work. room. What does that mean? You locked him in a room and made them play and then opened up and said, were you scared? No. You can't fucking do an experiment on this. They Okay, okay. I <laughs> I literally can. asked them, do you want to play Silent Hill? And what? To get? Yes. yes. If you they said, said yes. Okay. So they went in, and guess what? They played it. What? All by themselves, time. in a dark room, they played through the entire game. They, they, okay, they played through part of it once. Like, okay. Do you literally, really... the end of the game is what makes it scary. I but, laughed at it. Oh my god, you're sick. I myself laughed at it. You are sick. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2? Yeah. Okay. I, <sighs> Silent Hill 2 is, is literally the part that I laughed at. Can we kill him? Can, like, can he die in the game so he can just stop existing? Like, this is... You have your opinion, I, know I have mine. I know I Number made, six. Oh, that's a good point. I know I, I have said unpopular things. You are literally saying one of the most offensive things I've ever heard in my life. We we, we had this talk before in Gatlinburg. Yeah, and I called you fucktard then, too. Do you not know how to handle opinions? Because no, I don't. because no, your, opinion, he doesn't. your opinion is wrong and you should feel bad. That is what I am telling you. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> like, there are some opinions that are okay. You can be a Republican. That's okay. You're, he's not. But you can be. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> you can be. That's okay. I will still be your friend. I will. <laughs> I don't know how to handle this situation we are having right now. This is a, this is a friendship ending relationship. We had this talk before we're still friends. I mm. think we can make it through. Mm. I don't know, we didn't talk for a long time after Gatlinburg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just saying. Like 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 this was okay, Caleb and Grant were before Gatlinburg and I tried Will afterwards. You hunt food if Oh food. oh sure. Come on dude. Come on hunt. Silent Hill was really scary when I was younger. When it, it's about when, the concept. It is the concept. Do you understand that si what Silent Hill is? Is it a world in which there is no there is no evil in Silent Hill? Well, there is, but there's no evil like hunting you. Yeah. Silent Hill is a place where you yourself will destroy yourself. I'm not saying I don't like it. I love it for the symbolism in it. In, in it. I'm just saying that I'm not scared of it. it it's not a. It's okay. Are you? <sighs> I'm saying it's not. Scary to me. It doesn't have jump scares. It's not like you're gonna be like, oh! I know, and I said I hate jump scares too. I've never like screamed at Silent Hill. Like that, I've never had I a scream. I have out of anger. Well, that's silly of you. Um, Pyramid Head. <laughs> we, you we, were angry at Pyramid Head. I've never felt anger towards Pyramid Head. I have only I felt have. fear. I I've have, only I, felt fear. I felt frustration at Pyramid Head. Why? When he's chasing you in the labyrinth? No. Oh god, no. That one was just, I was just going down my la-di-da way. 
What does that mean? I, I literally, it, give a shit, it was about the same amount of shits given as going through a flock of daisies. You're Just disgusting. The, the the only time it scared me was when he first appeared through that, and I was like, oh, okay. I don't know how to handle you. You. It's like, it's like someone just saying, like, man, I love fucking babies. Like, it's an enjoyable experience. I like how you're relating what I'm saying to that. Yes, I'm okay with that. It's unex it's an unacceptable statement. You have to... Th I... I just don't know what to say to you. I'm just saying it didn't age uh, well at no, all. No, like, I don't think so. It's not scary to, like, someone who's played modern games. Modern horror games. What? What is... What? What game... Now is, there's okay. two separate definitions. Okay, fine. What game is scarier than Silent Hill? Explain that to me. Outlast. Okay. Now Outlast, you need to leave. Outlast jump scares, that's why. Be what the fuck? You just said you don't like jump scares, and you're using that as an example of a game I'm, that's no, scarier. No, yeah, yeah, it's scarier. I, okay, I'm saying well, I don't like jump, jump well, scares. They're scary. What kind of... Alright, so there's sort of two different yeah, kinds of... There's, oh, good. There's terror, there, which there, is there, different. I, there's two kinds of horror games that, that are out there. There's psychological and there's terror. Psychological deals with getting under your skin and sort of making you uncomfortable after you stop playing. That's the kind of that's the deep horror. Then there's the the surface. like surface there, horror. there's surface horror which is sort of like it's there to scare you in the moment, but once you get out of it it's sort of like I can deal with this. Heal me, you asshole. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, um, okay. Out Outlast is great surface terror. It's one of the best. Like and I even like the story and I, the the fucking doctor is super memorable, but that game is not the fucking epitome of horror. It's just it's a fun surface horror game. It's not deep horror in any capacity. That game doesn't stick with you. Fair enough, fair enough. And I'm not saying that it actually sticks. I, I'm saying what I'm saying is surface horror is basically what the modern what I what asked you what's everyone. a scarier game than Silent Hill, and you said you responded with Outlast. Because it is actually like, like like first thing, Outlast actually one did stick with me almost longer well no sorry not not longer almost deeper than right when i got out of the game right when i got out of silent hill it was okay and and i'm talking about like the first time i played it Fucking the tree. Fucking the tree. why are you doing that um i'm pretending that tree is your face well thank you it became very aggressive the, the the second this began. I know, I know, I know. People are gonna call me a hypocrite because I started making unpopular opinions, and now I can't handle an unpopular opinion. But it's like, one, I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely serious. But two, just, it's so, it's so flabbergasting. I don't like. I want some form of justification. Well, do you think Silent Hill 2 is a bad game? No. Okay. Well, that's. I'll yeah. start. Done. We fixed him a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, so... I never said it was a bad game. I'm just saying it didn't age well, first of all. Did you just heal me when I didn't need heal? Yeah. Uh, I I think I was thinking kill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Anyway, so... Well, that, that happened. Yeah, so that's your favorite horror games. I'll also bring up, um, really quick, uh, Fatal Frame, obviously. Yeah, that's oh, a good Fatal Frame. Uh, I love Fatal I'm Frame. I'm so... I'm so... Well, your opinion's invalid now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh... But, uh oh, Fatal Frame 2, I think it was I played. Uh, my personal favorite oh, yeah. is Fatal Frame 3, but we can talk about that. Um, I have played that. Uh, it's different. I, I, it's, yeah, it's way different. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I'm very excited about Dreadout, since Dreadout is very much a spiritual successor to it's that. It's like the same game, it, It's pretty much the exact same game, which is great. It doesn't have better con I haven't played it, but I've heard it controls better. Way better. Uh, which, it, it's great. Um. Okay, good. But, uh... Uh... Oh, you need fuel, dude. I know, I'm just, I'm fucked. Yeah, you could probably get some here. Um, um, you know what I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get some here. I'm also gonna see if I can find anyone to trade with on the road. Just real quick. Uh, well, I don't have that jerk. Um, there was some other game I was gonna bring up real quick. Um, what the fuck was it? Not, not talking about some what of the games it? we're gonna. No, it's not that. Uh, <laughs> oh no, 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 no. He'll, he'll talk about those. Yeah. Um, fuck me. What was it? Um, you know what? Come back to me. I'll bring it up if I right. remember it. What are your favorite horror games, Tony? Oh man. I'm gonna rip the fuck out of these. <laughs> 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 See. Oh man, I am being really crappy with titles right now, just yeah, because I, all I can think of is Silent Hill, 
like 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 just the talk we just had about Say it. Say Silent Hill 2 then, bitch. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think 2 is better than 3, or 3 is better than 2? Two? 2 is legitimately, um, in my opinion, the second best game ever made. Okay. Fair in enough. all of history. Fair enough. Better than Pac-Man? Better than Pac-Man. Man. Man. Not better than Kingdom Hearts! Well, yeah, but... That is my favorite game of all time, dude, fun fact. Dude, just, just wait on Kingdom Hearts 4, like, a hundred years from now. Yeah. yeah. That game's gonna be legit. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Um, Kingdom Hearts 1, by the way. Yeah. So... There's still, like, like... Like, the thing is, I'm trying to think of those that are... That don't use jump scares as, as as a cheap tactic, even though like that is that can be fun. First of all, yeah, it can be. No, I don't. I don't have anything against that. Well, yeah, no, no, no. Like, like personally, I don't like them, but they can be fun. It's it's like that love hate relationship. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that. I, I'm gonna say something really stupid I and not that, serious. I remember okay. mine. Okay, but go ahead. You go ahead. House of the Dead. How's the dead? I kind of liked House of the Dead. It was How, pretty good. It was fun. For I, fun. It was really fun to play. Like, like I, I still have it with a light gun. Oh, I'll, I'll three you, and four. I, I still I, have. I, I, I sw okay. So, uh, me and one of my friends went on a vacation uh, one year, and there was this arcade. I can't for the life of me. I think it might have been Long Island or something. Um, they just stayed long, there for long a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> Probably like uh, a week or something. Long Beach. Island. It might have been actually in North Carolina. Anyway, there was this arcade with House of the Dead, and like, I I, I used um I had I had never really played I, I loved arcades but I'd never played a light gun game, so I thought oh this looks amazing, and that was sort of my first experience with like, like horror -y things. I wouldn't call House of the Dead horror. No no it's no that's why I, that's why I said I I wasn't like serious. Yeah, but I fuck oh my god, uh, playing House of the Dead with my other friend, like, just pouring <laughs> quarters into it was the most amazing experience. Um, Can we just talk about, like, what makes House of the Dead so addictive one day? <laughs> um, sh there's a lot of shit happening all the time. Just it fucking never e stops. everything is it happening is, on the screen all the time. It is game and eye candy. Quarter yeah. candy, hey, basically. Tony, what yeah. do we play it's, together? It's basically like... What? Gatlinburg. We played a game. We, we, there that was weird this, okay, simulator. Okay, so, so there's this horror game. And it was Helpful. a 4D horror game where it's kind of like the Jurassic Park, right? Where you get into the booth, it's like curtain down. Yeah. yeah and then what? there's like parts where it oh, air blasts you. There's smell. I think. And like a, a bit of water just shoots out on you. And this part actually did have like the cheesiest jump scares. Oh, uh, it was hilarious. It was I, I love cheesy jump scares. They're awesome. Because it was 3D. Oh, you, God. You, you put on the little 3D glasses, and they're, like, a bit too small for your face. And <laughs> yeah. then you, like, point the gun at it. It's like, oh, man, what's going to come out? Oh, my God, what is that? Just kidding. I knew. So it's like, oh, I saw this one. My I remembered my, my third. And this one I'm going to sort of preface a little in that I fully admit that it only is scary for the first couple of times, and then it stops being scary. I, I'm, you know, I'm totally willing to admit that. But... It would be an atrocity not to bring up SCP Containment Breach. Because... I no, no. couldn't even get past, like, the first 30 minutes of that. That that game, one, it gets better every time they update it. And two, it's just, it's such an effective use of each and every single one of the, of the, oh, uh, oh, fuck me. I'm Why are you zombie bait? I don't know. Um, but so, it, like, each and every single monster in that game is used so effectively. Like, every yeah. single one it, it is gonna be scary for its own reasons, and that's what makes it um, so effective, really. I, I really do have to agree with you on that one. Um, like, the, everyone knows the statue. The statue is the scariest motherfucker to ever happen, basically. It's the weeping um, angel in the game. Yeah, the, yeah. the weeping angel only because better. Because it's like, it can show up at any point, and it just doesn't matter. It... It's, it, like, you are so nothing to it, basically. It, 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 you matter 0% to him. Yeah. He, you, he doesn't even eat you. He doesn't even do, he breaks your neck. Yeah. He doesn't have a reason. He just doesn't. He just hates you. He for just, no reason. He hates you because he hates everyone equally. He despises all things that are not dead, essentially. Um, oh my god, just fucking give me some fuel, jerks. Um, but, but like... I... Oh, God, what, how do I say Oh, it? there we yes. go. Yes. Yes. 
Um, you're out of mufflers, though. Okay, whatever. Off we go. Um. <laughs> no. Fuck. You're out of food. I know. I hope I somebody die. Um. <laughs> but like, and just everything in that game is terrifying, but also just is not enough to make you want to quit. Usually. Well, uh, sometimes me want to quit, but that's well, yes. Yeah. But like, if if you aren't scared to shit, like it makes you want to continue because you're like, but if I could just figure it out, if yeah. I could just know how it works, I, I would be fine. And as things, you slowly understand how they work, and then there's a new one that doesn't work that way. Like it's like, oh, I understand how the how you know uh, the the uh, statue the statue works. Okay, um, who is this nice fellow, shy guy? You say, how does he work? Oh my! Or uh, the old man. Huh, this man doesn't look very scary. Why, how can I escape him? He is flying through the floor. Yeah. No, I, um... But I will admit that game gets less scary as you play it. Yeah. Shot in a rock. Well, okay, okay. What, like, on topic of SCP, I... Sippa! Sippa! On, on the topic of Sippa. So... I love how you mentioned the, like, there's a logic to it, and each one, like, has a different sort of logic. Each one has yeah. rules. They, they all follow their own set of rules that they've imposed on themselves, really. Yeah. Right. Shy guy, uh, don't look at him. SC, er, uh, statue, always look at him. Yeah. Uh, uh, old man, run for your fucking life. Um, plague doctor, cry. <laughs> like... Because it really is your fault sometimes, but... That but, is the best part. But there a are lot of times you trap yourself. Not. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 there's a very few times when it's just like, it's not, but that's just because, like, the game screwed up. Yeah. Which is one reason that I frustrated quit, like, twice, because my game downloaded wrong. <laughs> it was really funny and frustrating. At one, like, like, 30 minutes in, you, you go to, like, unlock a door, and then the... The, the, the door has like this really weird graphics thing, which when I first played I was like, wow, that's really weird, maybe this is broken. Oh wait, no, maybe it's part of the game. You know what? Yeah, this might just be part of the game. And I go to like open the door and suddenly I just hear my neck snap. But huh. my computer, uh, my, my player is still looking at the door. And I'm just like, wait, did, did I not die? Am, am I invincible now? Ha! Huh. So I turn around, the statue's right there. And, hmm. and then I, I, I just look at it, I'm like, oh crap <laughs> and my neck just snaps that's weird I've got, I've got a question for you two um and i don't have an answer to this so i i won't be able to talk funnily enough um are the is there any either movie or game or whatever that that's too much you just can't do it most like, of like them. most of them right well more for tony but like like one that's just like i cannot handle this i will never do it well i'll tell you why it's pretty much most of them for me because it like all horror is like hyper effective on me because I lose the distinction of real and fake mm -hmm. very easily like uh, when I was talking about sleeping uh, sleepy hollow the bit with the mirror I wouldn't look at a mirror for the next day and a half right like I just couldn't do it I don't know I, I know like I know that's not gonna happen physics has explained that it's impossible like, I'm a very scientific person. I don't know, man. Magnets. You don't know what's out there. I know how magnets work. What? Yes, I do. Well, sort of. <laughs> well, roughly. I know how much we can know, because quantum mechanics are weird. <laughs> the the um, devil works, then. Does, does it have to do with the magnetic south pole and the south pole? No. Well, I mean, there are consequences of it, but... <laughs> anyway, uh, like, a lot of hor Like, I remember one of my... Alright, so my favorite... I don't want to say it's my favorite, but I had a lot of fun playing were the fear games because, like, I shouldn't have liked them, especially oh, yeah. three. Um, Three's but like, fun. I really liked playing Fear Two. I don't know why it wasn't like the gameplay wasn't very solid. Like, it was trying to be a shooter and it wasn't very good, and it was trying to be horror and it wasn't very good. But it, it was just sort of I don't know. I really like. Bear in mind, we did play at three a.m. Yeah, that's true. Helped. That's Fear true. Three, the first and level uh, also, also spoilers. Um, uh, Anna, not uh, Anna. Alma. Alma. That's right. Sorry, Alma. Um, I thought like after I had played those games, it like I forgot that Alma didn't exist. <laughs> like I forgot that she wasn't a thing that existed in our world. Right. I thought that like she could appear. Like I know that she couldn't, but there was a little thing in the back of my brain saying, "Well, why not?" And that, that's why uh, horror is always, like, 
unbelievably effective on me because my imagination. I, I, I absolutely like, get that, and I, I can explain. It's the exact same reason uh, why I cannot do, um, like like urban legends, urban legend stuff. Basically, I can't I can't do it on the internet um, because there are people who spend too much time making it look too real. And then my brain just stops being understand that it isn't real. Yeah. Um, the, uh, a most recent one, and I swear to God, viewers, if a single one of you motherfuckers sends me anything having to do with this, I will ban you from everywhere. I will make sure you are removed from the internet if you do anything relating to this, which means they'll all do it now. Yeah. I you can't... condemn yourself. I can't do Jeff the Killer, because... What's Jeff the Killer? I don't want to talk about it. Don't even. No, I will. Yeah. I'll explain it. It's basically this internet urban legend about the serial killer. He's basically the Joker, but the only reason he scares me is because there are some motherfuckers who spent way too much time doing really fucking realistic versions of him. Like, like, like live action footage and live action images and stuff that just make him look like he's real. Uh, and, and like, there's like stuff on YouTube of just him talking. It's like, it's him. And obviously it's fake, but it looks so fucking real that I just can't handle it anymore. That it, like it's too, like I cannot understand in my brain that that is not real, because they made it look perfectly real. Yeah. And that, so I completely understand where you're coming from. I can't do it. I swear to God, viewers, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You're gonna do it. I've I've seen you fuckwits on YouTube who put him as your Facebook stat or as your as your YouTube picture you're a piece of shit do you hear me i'm pointing at the screen they can see me pointing you are pieces of shit and i like how you say you have to issue an apology after i do a video you are all evil <laughs> well i'm a very trusting man <laughs> i trust them they won't do it they will and they're wrong and bad <laughs> continue okay. tony okay. your turn is there anything that you just can't do actually yeah <laughs> Many uh, things. You, you know, yes, actually many things. Like, um, I can't be mortal. What? What? No, in horror. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I only in horror games. Okay, so. I hate you. Um, actually, drawing the line between fiction and reality is something that keeps me from getting too involved in horror games. Like, like for me, it's a very distinct line. But for the little things that blur those lines, like yeah, urban legends. Th oh. There are some really good ones, but also, like, here's the thing. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll just, like, look at something, like, that Leon said was really scary. You're a fool. And, and, and I'll look at it, and I'm like, whatever. And then I see a picture. Mmm, yep. Yeah. And that confirms it, because that puts, like, like, that puts the image right there with the words. It, it mixes it all together. I, I, gotta, I gotta put it to you this way. This is how, how afraid of some of those things I am. I don't even, I wouldn't even leave the room and let you guys Google search it because I know it would be in my Google history and somehow it would hurt me. <laughs> that That's how afraid of some of those things I am. Well, on, wow. but, but then here's the things. On, there's two games. Good. You have measles, well, by the way. I'm gonna attempt to trade. There are two games that I have played recently that I just said, nope, not doing it. Yeah. Um, and they're ones that you sent me, and this is going to sound Good. really, really, like, weak for me. Which, I, I think I can guess what they are, but go ahead. Well, well take a guess. I'm going to guess I'm scared in seven days. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because, well, no, no. Uh, no. no, I understand. It was only one, one, actually, because the other one, oh, I don't think... Those games are really good. Holy uh, shit, uh, those are good. Especially, uh, yeah, all the Yahtzee's games. Yeah. Uh, s uh... Off topic. No, you're fine. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Tony. I'll talk later. Okay. <laughs> so the the one where you wake up in that room and seven it's all, days. Seven days. Yes, yeah, seven days. I really liked the way it was done. Yeah. I really liked that. That ending. That ending fucking hurt me. Like hurt me. Well, like I just stopped. Doing, Jesus. I stopped beforehand. The, I completely understand. Like I need to go back to it one day and preferably soon. <laughs> Let me let me just say that that ending is one of the single like and I I know I know somebody's gonna say oh it's based off of a creepy pasta I know it's based off a of creepy pasta it doesn't change the fact that somehow in the game when they put it in the game it somehow was just you're a piece of shit uh, <laughs> it was somehow it was somehow different it's because the game was telling me this and the game said I am part of this 
that's what scared me. Like, that the game just informed me, yeah, that's a thing that's real, and I am part of it. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to spoil it for Tony, but it's just, it was a moment of, did the game just become self-aware? Is the game informing me? It, it, oh, shit. Is the game informing me that trade? it is part of this? Yeah, I'm going to go trade. Um, and, and I, like, couldn't handle that. Those games are so expertly done. Like, for such, for such simple things, they are excellent. Uh, yeah. Have you seen them well? You've seen a little bit. Yeah, I have. I'm scared. We did a we did a, uh, a let's play. I'm scared. It did I ever tell you what happened to that guy? Did you did you see what happened to that? No, I actually haven't watched it yet. Uh, interesting thing. It's kind of creepy. Um, all the footage was corrupted, like like in weird ways. Like not normal. Like not normal corruption. Like um. So I post as much as I could, but the ending is all gone. Here's what happened when I finally got to like the door that leads to the final area. I got to the door. The game like my footage froze. And all it was was it was a still image of the face from the game laugh it with the laugh uh, sound effect repeating over and over and over. And it did that for um, 20 minutes, and then it cut to, um, it just said, it had that final screen that says the end. What the fuck? Yeah, I, and I was just like, well, that's the scariest thing to ever happen. <laughs> what if that's just some dick's way of saying don't record my stuff? <laughs> that would be... That would be the worst. That guy's got some... Massive programming skills and massive balls. Yeah, he's Hitler. But like, I... So now you guys know why there isn't an ending to that video. That's why. Because I will never record that game again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Like, that was That's weird. frightening. Um, and, and just because what the game is about makes that even scarier. But, I mean, spoilers, guys. It, I mean, it's about a thing that infects your computer. That's what makes yeah. it scary. That's what the story's about. So... Yeah. So I'm sorry, Tony. We keep cutting you off. So that game you couldn't complete, uh, or was that, or was it seven days? Seven days I couldn't complete. I'm scared. I, like, I still need to play. But honestly, spoiler wise, it's been so long since you sent it to me. I deserve this. <laughs> but, oh, two med kits. Uh, yes. Oh, you're way down on bullets. You gotta save. I'll live. Well, I, I won't. So Jim will live. Jim might. I hope someone dies. <laughs> I just want. I just want death. Yeah. Death is a friend. Fuck uh, you. Hug! I hate this game! <laughs> <laughs> Might just start killing people off to end it. Um, no, so, I brought up uh, Yahtzee's games. Uh, oh. Five Days of Strangers. Five Days of Strangers, Six, Seven Days of... Is that uh, the Chozo uh, thing you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, the Chozo Mythos. Yeah. Uh, five Five Days of Stranger, Seven, seven Days of Skeptic, seven. and Six Days of Sacrifice. Yeah. And, and there's also the, uh, the Trilby Files. Yeah. And that one's my favorite. Really? The Trilby Files? Because it's based on Silent Hill. That's true. That's true. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, like, oh god, it's been like years since I actually watched Yahtzee stuff. But uh, that was one of his favorite games as well, Silent Hill 2. He thinks it's one of the best stories written in gaming history. Yeah, because he's not a fucking charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, those games were sort of, like, those were the first horror games that I actually played on my own. Those are the first games that I thought... The, this story of these games are so good, I'm going to play them because I want to know what happens. Dude, Cabadath is scary. You remember him? Yes. The, yeah. Yes. I know people compare him to Slenderman. Nah. Nah, he's scary yeah, on his he, own. Yeah, he's he's his own kind of scar scary. Um, but, like, it was just sort of... I don't know. There was something so well done. Like, they're, they're very... They feel old. Yeah, they do. They're, they're like, old... In a good way. They're kind of like this, but they're point-and-click. Yeah. They're a point-and-click adventure, but I like that. Um, it feels so very Yahtzee, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, it does. Right, let's fix you need to you. use a. Uh, yeah. I know we're gonna fix you, you piece of shit. Oh, you, 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 okay. You're back. <laughs> kind of. Well, this we're getting close to death. We're Wait. all just gonna start. What? You no, need okay. to I'll trade. What do we have left to give? Look at ours. Look at ours. What if you? Okay. We don't have stuff, dude. We're gonna get going. I'm gonna look for food. We could have looked for food there. I, I guess I could have. Well, too late now. I'm gonna look for food. It'll be all right. Yeah. That was trading. So, um, a t what were what were uh, okay? So the d uh, the Defoe series, the 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 um, some, uh, the Chozo Mythos. Yeah. Um, now I didn't do heavy reading into those games, so I don't know. I don't know everything about those games. I don't know right. why everything happened. I just remember that, that, like, even as they felt old, but they were still massive fun to play. Yeah. 
Um, and, like, that kind of game doesn't lend itself to jump scares. But no. somehow it still managed to. Dude, somehow that that series, like, it's, it's normal as ones where it's not scary exactly, but so unsettling. Yeah, it's just unnerving. Like, you never feel comfortable with everything that's going on. Yeah. Particularly in, um... Particularly in Trilby Files and uh, Seven Days of Skeptic. In yeah. both of those, you never really feel safe. Yeah. Because things just keep going wrong constantly. Oh, by the way, the, those games are actually free. Yeah, they are. Um, uh, we're going to play them. He's playing them with me. Highly recommended. Yeah. Uh, highly recommended. Probably. They're awesome games. Either you, you and oh, me yeah, because done I'm by a massive prick. You and me or um, you... No, it's a point-and-click, not a RPG. Well, yeah, yeah but... Um, it's either you and me or you and... Or me and Delaney, I mean. Uh, yeah. do it. Oh man, I've, I've had like only one other point and click in my life. I love point and clicks. They're, they're they're not hard to no, play. No, two. So. One one was a horror point and click. You know that what's nerfed me as a child. I'm just gonna bring this up uh, briefly. You know it's a sort of cool um, little uh, horror game. So super short. There's really not much. Five bullets. I know. There, there's not much to say about it, but uh. Is it the one made by Pokemon Maniac? You know, mm, maniac. Don't fucking bring... Don't insult a guy on our channel just because he thought his thing was funny. Um, I'm not insulting him because I, I, I... Okay, one, I actually really... Like, like I have yet to play that game. <laughs> Two, I think it actually does look like it could be really good. Sure I'm not sure. um, what I was going to bring up, it, it's a, it was a game that was made a while back, but it was really... It was right when I started to get really into horror games, and, and it sticks out in my mind just as being a very good experience was The White Room. Uh, which was sort of an anime-inspired point-and-click uh, that took place on a space Oh, station. I remember that. That was a very good game. Very simple, not much to it, but somehow it was so... It it wasn't... It, nothing was superfluous. Everything was in it for a reason and worked great. Everything was just subtly unnerving, and the jump scares weren't jump scares in the traditional sense. No, they weren't. They were very much like... Oh shit, the situation has suddenly got bad. I now have five minutes to fix this very bad situation. Yeah. Like, so it was a, a surprise, but then you had five minutes to try and fix that awful surprise. Yeah. It's like someone just stuck their dick in your pudding and you have five minutes to figure out how to fix your pudding for the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never coming over here for Thanksgiving or any other thing that involves pudding. Yeah. Um... So, do you want to talk about underrated and overrated games? I think I think it's a good time to do that. We're getting close to death, frankly. I mean, yeah, we're running life. out of options. So, yeah. Uh, why don't you guys start? Okay, yes. well... Um... I don't know, like... Trade. I, I know, um... As far as underrated games, I played a, an old horror game. Like, I played it way past it was its time, but I remember playing uh, Clock Tower for the PS1 a long time ago. Or like maybe five years ago. Yeah, and it was, it like even for being as old as it was, it came out in the mid '90s, I think. Um, it still like, it felt old, but it was still f amazing. Clock Tower. I won't really spoil anything, but there's this monster that's chasing you for unknown reasons. Clock Tower Two, by the way, guys, is probably the best one. And I, I agree. Story's I, not. Like, it's not the greatest story, it's pretty simplistic, but as far as, like, pure gameplay goes, it's phenomenal. You, you basically, in this area, whether it be a house, or an apartment building, or, like, a work office, um, but there's, like, a set, there's this set area with, like, different rooms and closets and stuff that you can hide in, but everything is happening in real time. Also, how did a f how did you misplace a fuel can? Um, I mean, we have like one. You Jackal think we came back. Yeah. <laughs> I've returned. Yeah. Um, and oh. and oh. like it's it's sort of this messed up game of hide and seek, yeah. and it's all about trying to figure out how to get out while being chased in real like. If you see the monster coming, you have to go into another room and then go into another room and then hide in that room so he doesn't know where you've hid. And it's one of the most effective serial killer things. And yeah, yeah. there is some supernatural to it, but... It's like, mostly just... He could just be a regular guy that wants to kill you. Yeah, exactly. Y and, you and you are a person who can do nothing about yeah, it. Yeah, you just have to get out. You yeah. just have to... Like, you're locked in for some unknown reason. Does he reason. run? No. No, he, he... He just walks. You can run faster than him, and it's still frightening. He hobbles. Yeah. yeah. He's got, uh, he, he doesn't have very good legs. And he's hunched. He's like he's kind of fucked up. Yeah. 
you yeah you can move faster than him, but he will always find a way back to you. Yeah. And the the big thing, and we were talking about this earlier, the biggest thing with him is that unlike most serial killers in most things, he hides too. Yeah. Like if y- if you've avoided him long enough, if you've gotten away from him. He just goes, all right, fine, I'm going to go find some place to hide. And just waits for you to find him by accident. Yeah. And he wants to open a locker going, I hope there's a flashlight that's yeah. him. Yeah, like, you have to open stuff, like, you have to open places that you can hide to find items. But he might be there. So it's sort of like, I really don't want to open this, but I have to because I need to get out. You basically have, like, a 5% chance there's going to be something useful and a 5% chance he's going to be there in yeah. anything you open. And he, he actually gets smarter. Yeah. If you hide in the same place twice, he'll find you. Yes. He'll... So you, you start quickly running out of places to hide. And he he will start hiding in places that you have hid before because he realized that you want... You keep trying to go there. Yeah. Um, and... Can you get out of the place? Yeah, yeah. That, the, oh, that's the, the, the goal. The, okay. the goal is to, to get out. And you can. And I've... I actually have never beaten any of them because, like... They're just, one. they're just hard. They're really hard to beat. They're just... And which, you just want to give up. You don't yeah. want him to keep following you. Yeah, it's like, I just want this to be over. It's easier just to stop playing. It's easier to give up than to try and fight him. Yeah. <laughs> which is, a, I mean, it's not what you want in the game, but it's effective anyway. Um, but there was also another game that was, what, banned in Europe? Yes, it, it was... Was I, that... I bel- yes, it was banned in Europe um, because of the, um, the the violence towards children and the uh, sexual con- uh, connotations with the children. Yeah, and that was Rule of Rose. Now, this game was sort of in its own genre. It's like, oh good. Okay. Well, let's go scout for food. Actually, well. Tony's incapacitated, or you're incapacitated, and you, uh, you're zom- you're, you're gonna turn to a zombie if you're incapacitated too long. I'm gonna see if I can get a med pack, but, uh, Will, it might be time to put you down. You're incapacitated, you can still talk, you you're can incapacitated. Still talk. Okay, so, okay. So yeah, you're good. fine, you're incapacitated, anyway, you're not dead. So, um, Will Rose is this messed up, like, you are, what, you're, uh, like, 22, 23 or something? Yeah. And you're, you're on this bus like ride. like a young, old, young girl. And this really isn't a spoiler because this happens at the beginning of the game. Literally, at first. Uh, you're on this bus ride, and this bus takes you to this stop. But it's not where you want to go, but the bus leaves. Yeah. So you, ha- you, 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 can't get, you can't get out. Whenever you try and, like, walk down the road, it just teleports you back to the other side. So you just, you literally cannot leave. So you have to go forward into this sort of area that's uh, like kind of like this big mansion and it's it's not where you want to be it's mm-hmm. not like if I were the experience found this place in real life I'm like that's one place I will never visit in my life you're like no you know what I'll just die I'll, I'll just, I'd rather here. die than go there but so you have to go there so whatever um, so you go um, also, you're almost dead. Yeah, I, I gotta make guys. This is probably the end. Yeah. So you have to find this. I like how I'm the healthiest, technically. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're not a fucking zombie. Well, Jim is the healthiest. Yeah, Jim. I like how Jim is sort of like this stoic kind of brawny. Yeah. Hasn't. Well, they don't know much. Jim's been sitting right next to us the whole time. Well. Uh, so, I really, I'm really thinking about putting you down, but I want to finish your story. Yeah. So, anyway, so talking, it, it, yeah, in, in, rule, in rule of Rose, like you find, you come across this mansion. It's full of these asshole kids. These kids are just the biggest, the worst people. They're the worst. You enter thing. on them beating a dog to death. That's their entrance. In That's the their entrance into their story. It's just that. beating the yeah. shit out of this dog. Uh, do go, they kill it? Forth. I think they kill it. It's got a bag over its head. And they're just beating it with clubs. Like, what? And then they just, like, they pass it off like nothing happened. Uh, no. That's a good deal. And then they bury you. Go until you get $80 total. You, they, right. you, they sort of, like, force you into their life as a slave. And then they bury you alive. Yeah, because that's fair. And then you transport into this sort of Zeppelin-y thing. And anyway, it's, it, it's just, like, everything is just messed up and twisted. It's not like... There's no jump scares. There's no psychological, like, faces melting in the mirror. No, like, weird psychological horror. It's just the most, like, it's, it's like, 
You it's the dirty. worst place ever. Like, yeah, like yeah, you feel dirty just like having the controller in your hands. You're like, uh. Yeah, you you, you literally you kind of feel like you're beating a dog the whole time. Yeah, like, it's awful. That, that is probably the best metaphor for that game. Is it's just the game makes you feel like you are standing and hitting a dog with a stick, and you just feel really uncomfortable about it the whole time. Yeah. It it it's a it's an awful feeling. It's the only game that makes you just go like, uh, as you play it. Yeah. And. That's kind of cool, like awful. Yeah, cool. it's. I I I love playing it for how short a period of time I played it because I couldn't keep going. Yeah. Because I just like it's not that it was too scary. It was just like, I feel wrong for playing this. And there, the, the, here's the worst thing, by the way, guys. The hardest boss fight in the game. Uh, you haven't really experienced this much, but I have experienced this. The hardest boss fight in the game is also the most disturbing, and it's just like. That boss fight is nigh on impossible. It, it, it is up there in terms of, like, Sephiroth levels of impossible. And it's just like, that's unfair. That the most disturbing, most disgusting fight is just in, almost impossible. Yeah. Like, it, it's awful. I have a friend named Selena who, like, to this day, her dream is just to fucking finish that fight so she never has to think about it again. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so... I don't know. That's those are t like those are some of my fondest memories of horror games, where like because no one's really ever heard of them. I mean, like aficionados of horror have heard of them. Yeah. Uh, that's but they they weren't popular. They weren't like well, it was banned. It was banned yeah. in Europe. It was like, banned where it's set and where it was made. Yeah, it was created in Europe and banned there. Ironically, you're probably out of bullets. Um, oh shit! I didn't even think of that. Can you scavenge one more time and try to get clean? Oh, you have a med kit. I, yeah, I have a med kit, but I'm kind of trying to... He needs two to heal both of us. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get anything um, else. At, like, the, uh, they're pretty underrated, as far as horror games go. F as far as overrated games... I don't know, would you consider Alan Wake a horror game? Yeah. And I, I liked bits of it. I hated it. <laughs> I couldn't... I'm it was the on most, this one. It was the most <laughs> pretentious... Bullshitty. It is very potential. It was just like, stop, you're not, you don't make sense. You don't, like, nothing made sense in that game. It definitely thinks it's, it means a lot more than this. Yeah, it's like, there's, it's trying to Im imply symbolism that's not there. It's just not there. You haven't been introduced to the uh, symbolism. Uh, so anyway. Uh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, We're all dead. With, um... Alan Wake, we've Why we've talked about going? this a while ago actually, where it's it's good at bits, but like for me it was scary for the first five minutes. It's a game that had like great potential and yeah, then it could have like, been you're good, struggling but through that went where nowhere. It yeah, went it nowhere. It didn't nothing happened. Yeah. Like as a game it didn't progress. It's, it was just the same thing. Really. I, okay, there, there's a syndrome I like I want to talk about because this happened with Beyond Two Souls, this happened with, with Alan Wake. And it's just, they always try to be more than they need to be. Yeah. Like, like Alan Wake would have been fine if it had just been a goddamn ghost story about a fucking evil lake. Like, that would have been fine. Beyond Two Souls would have been fine if it had just been a story about a girl who has a ghost connected to her. That's, that's a story. That's enough. You do not need this other stuff. And that's the problem, that was the big problem for me with Alan Wake, is it's just like, you don't need all this stuff about the story coming to life and all that. It's not necessary. Just tell a story about an evil goddamn lake. That's enough. Yeah. That's fine. The lake doesn't need to be an ocean. That's fine. That line is so annoying. Sorry, guys. That's the last line of the game. My apologies. Fuck. Well, Will, I think... I think I gotta put you down. Probably. Would, would you like any last words? I slept with your sister. What? It's cool, because you didn't sleep with... Uh, no, we don't even... Okay, no. Damn it. <laughs> Go. I'm going, I'm going. All right. Goodbye, Will. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First what? thing, anything else? Give me an insult. Come on, you're not dead yet. Uh, uh, your opinions are... Bang! Right. Says your mom. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive. You can ah, oh. your opinions are invalid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that that was pretty great.
You want to heal me? Nope. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess I will. <laughs> I just said okay. <laughs> I guess I will. Um, I mean, we've got one med kit. You might as well come with me for the final ride. Uh, come on, buddy. Okay, let's go. I uh, know gems, being Dude, we got no gas. Where are we going to go? Do you want to hunt? I, I'm going to try and hunt to get some food to trade for gas. But no one wants to trade for gas. It's really fucking annoying. Uh, Probably because they're driving by. So, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so, uh, so Tony, uh, overrated, underrated. Toss them out. Oh, man. Okay. Well, see, I'm not going to say Silent on the Hill. I, 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 I'm really not. Because do, do you want to start this fight again? No. Will's no. not here to mediate. Here's why. Here's why. Because I don't feel it's overrated or underrated. Because I've heard plenty of, of mixed opinions about, uh, about it. And both no, valid. There are no both mixed valid. opinions about it. You're just a piece of shit. No, no, seriously though, like, like, when, when I actually had people sit down and play it, they, like, 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 they said there's, there, there's this and this. I, I, everything, every single bit, bit of thing I, I heard, there's like, it's, it's not too hyped, it's not too low, either. Although, I, I, I gotta say, Rule of Rose, definitely, I agree on that. Um. Because I didn't hear about it until you guys. Yeah. You guys literally forced me to open my eyes to it. Yeah. We forced you into the light. I kid you not, guys. They forced me almost. And, 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 like, I came over here one week three times. The fires of hell will purge you clean. I came over here for one week, and during that week I was here for uh, three times. Each of the three times, I remember them talking about Rule of Rose, and I kept asking, and asking, and asking. Silent. Okay. Um, a ghost sent us a message. And remind me that I really need to talk about a rather important uh, underrated game, which is, in some ways, the spiritual successor to the good Silent Hills. Not exactly, but it was the last game made by Team Silent. That game in particular is Siren. Siren is amazing. Uh, it's weird, very weird, uh, but it, it's great, and the concept is great, and there's a fucking terrifying movie of it. So go out and find that. Siren was made by Silent. Team Silent. Really? Team... Yeah, duh. I... N I... Wow. Mind blown. I'm sorry. The, the, the game didn't have the word silent in it. I... So you were confused. I... <laughs> I are, are you, are are you surprised? Are they currently working on another... Are, are, like, like the original Team Silent? Team Silent is gone. Okay. Team Silent does not exist anymore. Okay. Um, all, all of the team is disbanded. Okay. Was it the latest Silent Hill game that, that it was like them that they worked on it? Because I feel like no. they were working on some... Like, they have worked on absolutely nothing uh, since Siren. The since first Siren. Okay. Um, that, that was the last thing they did. Um, then they, they disbanded. The most recent Silent... Uh, there are rumors uh, that seem pretty damn confirmed that Hideo Kojima is working on Silent Hill 9. And that's the closest thing because he basically... Everything's going to be quiet. Well, because he he was a very... Shut up. Because he was a very close uh, friend of Team Silent. So that is probably the closest you'll ever get to Team Silent returning. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that completely. I'm really hyped for it. But I... Like, like the part that I don't know how I feel about is... One, I really want it to happen. Uh-huh. And... In the same hand, this is not a but, this is just in the same hand, mm -hmm. I don't know how to imagine it. Uh-huh. Because I don't know how, how to imagine Hideo Kojima doing Silent Hill. Uh-huh. If you kill me, then I guess I win. Because I'm I'm already more than you, you're just knocking me off while I'm better. Mm. Fine. I won't kill you in your stupid opinions. How? I'm saying I'm, I want Silent Hill for I I, 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 I just... want Hideo Kojima to do Silent Hill just so I can see what it's like. Alright, fine. Um, Were you not listening? No. I was busy killing you. Um, okay, but so, so go back to your underrated, overrated. And, uh, like I say, a ghost like demanded that I bring that up. By the way, ghost, you scared the shit out of me. Just because you held up a screen right after I'd been talking about stuff I don't want to see. Well, you got to remember, you've basically seen everything that I have for a horror game-wise. That's true. Like, so underrated, I, I can't say much. Fair enough. Overrated. Man. 
everything that when, helps when, the when, when Slender first came out, there's there's a little too much. That's a good. For, that's a good for, answer. For how much it was. I would say, it's not exactly that Slender is the problem. It's Slender was a good concept, followed by 627,000 ripoffs. But like, that's its biggest problem. And it was so sudden, that's why I'm saying around the time of its release, it was yeah. a bit too much. But but a little bit that. after. I get that. Um, like, it's really, it's not much of a game when you really get down to it. So, like, there's not much to, the, like, it's so big just because people didn't know what to expect. And then it turned out to be an interesting concept. You know, so there's that. Yeah, that's all I, that's all I got, dude. Go for it. Fuel! Uh, sorry, my opinion. Uh, my, 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 uh, One tire. No. I don't care. Um. <coughs> dying. Oh, y'all are stranded here. I'm just, we're fucking living here because there's no fucking fuel. We, like, let, let, like, honestly, if it turned to rainy season, we could dig a moat around us and own our own little island. Mm, might as well. Um. I'm, okay, so so are you good? Can, can, uh, or shall I talk? Or? You, you can go for your, uh, over-under. Okay. Because uh, I'm, I'm really interested in this, actually. Okay, well, overrated. Um, I know it's being a fucking hipster, but it, it's mostly the, the like a lot of the AAA titles. Uh, I got a big one that just, it really, I got to get off my chest because I hear a lot of people I really respect talking about this and talking about how much they like it, and that just upsets me. Um, so I, I, I got to bring it up. The Dead Space series has never been good. Like, like, no, no, that's not true. It's never been scary. The first one's good as a game, but the second one I could barely play. I just completely did not care. And the third one, I thought the third one was atrocious. Like, I'm not aggressive. I don't aggressively hate it in any capacity, but that, that series has never been scary. And I, I just got to bring that up. It's never been scary. Sorry. It's, it's jump scares. Um, I'm, I'm agreeing with the shaking ghost on this <laughs> one on saying it. Saying that it was never scary is going too far. I did. I never. There was the never, first one. No. What's scary in the first one other than that first five minutes? The first fifteen. Okay, you get your gun. <laughs> how's the game still scary? Explain to me how the game is scary after you get your gun. I never said after that point. But okay, no. That takes you fifteen minutes. God, you're slow. I, God, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it, uh, actually, one thing I, I did like about Dead Space was <coughs> I like how I was silent there for a couple of minutes trying to think about it. Um, <laughs> some of the enemies were really, really like interesting, were but they? not okay. Sorry, they were not really interesting. They were interesting. They were interesting for when they appeared. Okay. okay. I'm I'm giving them that because I'm also agreeing with you that overrated. Like after Dead Space One, I completely forgot about the game. Um, Up until right now, when you brought it up, I yeah. forgot it existed. I'm trying to think of this. Thing. I covered a couple earlier. Um, it was... Oh, here, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm, I'm getting a message here, a seance. It, from a ghost. It was almost scary, but then the Isaac Man <laughs> mode curb stomp broke everything. Okay, it, it made God, me break down and stupid. laugh at every enemy encounter. That was actually true. Curb stomping the enemies to get rid of their limbs made me laugh also. Um, yeah, no. Um, let's see. Underrated. Let me think. <coughs> Jesus, I'm fucking dying. Did, did did we already say your um, oh <laughs> Isaac scream? <laughs> <laughs> but did we already say you're like two choices for underrated. No, I haven't said underrated yet. That's what okay. I'm trying to think of. Um, for underrated. I'm scared. Seven days. <laughs> uh, th those are two big ones. Yeah, but uh, I mean, we already brought those up. I'm trying to think of something we haven't brought up yet. Uh, right off the bat, uh, condemned. You know, we talked about this before we started recording. Condemned was a game that was rushed to be released on the Xbox 360 as a launch title game. Now, I don't know if you know this, 99.9% .9 of the time launch titles suck. The only exceptions really have been Halo and well, Condemned. Uh, maybe a couple things on the PlayStation. <laughs> Lovely. Excuse <laughs> me. <coughs> 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 I'm fucking dying over here. Um, and, and Condemned just like came out of nowhere. There's nothing about Condemned that should have made it good. It had all the cards stacked against it. And but somehow, just through a combination of the AI, the scares, everything, it came out as this just terrifying game. 
and, and legitimately fun game, and a game where you get really invested in it, and, and you're just interested. You want to know where it's going. It's not even exactly that you're interested in the main plot, it's just that there's all this side shit going on. Like, all the, all the other serial killers are really interesting. All the weird magic shit that doesn't exactly make sense. It, it's just, it's really cool. It's a really cool underrated game. That's all there is to say about it. <laughs> yeah, actually, Condemned Fuck. was one of the first game, like, like one of the early horror games for me. Like, it scared me completely. Yeah. Because one, I was a little kid. Well, yeah. Two, when I played, like, like, like the first thing I had with it was the demo. And in the demo, what they do is, like, they put you in this building, they have you hiding this serial killer, then you get to this, like, wide open, and or, you know, semi-wide open compared to where you've been in, like, hallways. Yeah. And with, like, windows on the outside, and you see, like, like the lights turn out, and you see the light coming from the outside, and, like, the shadows sweeps across the room with the low light that's remaining. Yeah. And you're forced to, like, hunt or be hunted, it seems. But, you know, you're not really being, uh, you're, you're not really hunting, you're just... Flying blindly. It's more like dying terribly, but yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but <laughs> that, like, Condemned was one of my first terror game or like, you know, horror games that I, I, I absolutely loved. Okay, so another... We've talked about so many, we've covered so many topics. Um... Ha... Huh. Fuck, uh... Do you think there's any horror games you want to see, like, like, see redone? Nope. Any classics? No. Nope. No, I don't. I don't like remakes. Um, very rarely do remake work. Well, 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 here's what I'm thinking. Like, like as um, Dread Out is to Fatal Frame. Not, not a remake. Spiritual successors. Spiritual I'm, all, I'm all yeah. for spiritual successors. Is there any that you I, I think could do a really good job or really want to see? Uh, uh, well, I mean. I'd like to see a true spiritual successor to Silent Hill someday. Like, I don't want more Silent Hills. I want a new Silent Hill-esque. Like, 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 yeah, just a new series. Um, <coughs> I, <coughs> fuck me, I'm dying very slowly. I would actually really love to see that, too. That was the first thing me on my dying. list. No, me well, dying. No, that, too. Um, I... Blah, blah, blah. Um... I kind of like to see a new Resident Evil, like a proper Resident Evil, not not like these AAA title zombie games, but something that really does what the early Silent Hills did, or not Silent Hills, Resident Evils. Um, what's the game that the it, what what was the game? Because I'm completely blanking on the title that the Silent or not Silent Hill Gun Resident Bolton. Evil creator made. Is, sorry, is making right now or made recently? I have no idea. I haven't heard anything about that. Oh, okay. Oh man, I, I, that's gonna kill me. I'm gonna have to look up with you later. Uh, do me a favor. I'm trying to think of a game. Vamp for me. What? Vamp for me, because I'm trying to think of something. Vamp? V it means like talk. Oh. Talk because I'm trying to think of something. Okay. Well. Um. Anyways. <clears throat> oh. Like Silent Hill was definitely on top of my list. Um. Fatal Frame. I'm really happy with, with, with Dread Out being like a sort of spiritual successor, like just the same style, with up. Just it, it it feels better. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was something I want to talk about. <coughs> um. So there is a um. You, you all know what the Oculus Rift is, I imagine. Um. There is a a game that I just saw on the Oculus Rift recently, and maybe it'll become super popular. But I want to do everything in my power to make sure that people fucking hear about it. Um. It it is called um Alone. And the, it is quite possibly one of the best concepts I've ever heard of. So, you're in the Oculus Rift, and the game turns on, and you're in a living room. And you're sitting in front of a TV. You are home alone. It is night. You look at your, um, <coughs> you look at your fucking TV, and there's a game on the TV. So you're like, finally. So you're like, holy shit, let's go, uh. What was fuel? I don't know, I just got fuel. Did I say yes? Oh, wait. Off we go! Thank God. No food. Gotta fucking... Great for me. Great for you. Yeah, I fucking know! Let me fucking open it! I think we... I won. Because you were out. No. I'm incapacitated. I'm not dead. I do need to be killed at some point. Um, in fact, probably really soon. But I'm gonna search for food. No, you know what? Should, should we put me down? Do you think we should put me down? Can we at least finish your story? 
What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, alone. yes, alone. Let me hunt for some food and I'll tell them my story. So, alone. Um, basically, like, you're in this place and you're playing a video game. So you're playing a video game in a video game. Video Gameception. And basically what starts happening is you're playing the game and some creepy shit happens in the game because you're playing a horror game because you're a stupid man. Um, and, and some stuff starts happening <clears throat> in the game that starts happening in your house in the game. So, again, confusing. So the thing is... You control, like with your controller, you control the game on the TV screen. But, the Oculus Rift is controlling your head. So, y like you're moving in this house. And basically, shit starts to go bad in the game, and then shit goes bad in your own house. And so basically, <coughs> it's like, it completely mind fucks you. Because, in a normal world, you look away from the game to, to protect yourself from fear. Like, the game, something scary happens in the game, so you look anywhere that isn't the screen. Uh. In the Oculus Rift, they trick you, because you are now inside of a different house, so you look in that house to try and get away from the scariness on the screen. Only problem is, the scariness is in the house that you're already in. So, for instance, you're playing the game, you hear a body being dragged across the floor in the game, you then look up, and there's a, the sound of a body being dragged across your ceiling. So you're like... Well, that ain't good. And basically, like, there's a bit where it cuts to security footage of your house that you're in, and, and like, you're, like, where you are. And so it's this complete mindfuck, and I'll show you guys footage of it later, but it, it's incredible. If anybody has an Oculus Rift, go fucking play it. If you don't have an Oculus Rift, go watch people play it. Find these people, donate to them, make sure they make this into a bigger game, because holy shit, it's genius. Like, it is quite possibly the best concept I've ever seen for a video for a horror video game ever. Hands down. Like, that idea of they put the house that you are safe, quote-unquote, in, in the game to fuck with you. Because it isn't safe, but you think it is. It's basically what Fatal Frame 3 does, and that's great. Fatal Frame 3 is great. <clears throat> so that, that's my, that's my over-under, and I think it's time for me to be removed... From our tale, so I'm going to shoot myself. Any last words? I fucking hate you, and I hate your opinions. So's your face. Good day, you piece of. So, um, I'm the last man left. Do we just continue going on forward until we die? Okay, I the spirits are telling me yes. So, anyways, now that- oh, damn it! <laughs> I don't have the controls. Um, anyways, so while we're here for probably the last, the very short time we have left, I just want to say that I can talk about anything right now, and they can do nothing. Except punch me. I was been by a zombie after you. <laughs> so you guys literally have no say in this. Okay, okay. So, uh, did you Son of a bitch <laughs> If you can see there then trying to stop from laughing right when that happened. You sure you just don't want to put me down? Oh! No! No! You did that on purpose! No! 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 You can't kill me now! You have to wait! You have to wait! Go to the next city! Wait until I die natural causes! Because I, I, I just want to see how long I can see inc inc be uh, uh, incapacitated until we eat the driver. So, anyways... The over-under for you guys has all been wonderful. Yeah. If middle fingers could speak, you'd hear two voices. <laughs> two separate <laughs> voices. <laughs> but I, I, I think we should really move on to a new subject. So. Animal Crossing. I think that is one of the scariest games. Okay, fine, no. 
Although I do have an Animal Crossing horror story. That game actually did make me scared once. Okay. I was, I was playing Animal Crossing. All the lights in the house were on. Every single one. There was... It, it was a bright sunny day. There is no way I should be scared at this. There is no atmosphere whatsoever. And... It's midnight in the town. I go through the town with my bug catcher snag. I go to catch a butterfly. I go to catch some random water skeeter thing. And then I see this black mass on the ground. I look at the black mass on the ground. Okay, I'm not dead yet. I look at the black mass on the ground. And I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's a spider. I'm scared of spiders in real life. But you know what? In here, I can take them. I approach very slowly with the net, scooching up. I'm sure I'm going to catch this. And I bring my net down. I miss. The spider just looks at me and dashes straight at me. I run. I run. And my cheeks are clenched. I have never been so scared on the Nintendo Wii before that moment. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to put me down after that. Did I ever tell you about the time that I crashed my car? Man, I can talk about anything right now. <laughs> oh, I've hijacked this and I won. Oh, it makes it it'd be really smart to do it until there's only just one person left. <laughs> Both of you. You can just... Here, wait, hold on. It is last man standing after all that was from a ghost do we so anyways so he wins you go ooh, in response with two of the same voice middle finger speaking you go a you you are you go are e a Oh gosh, this will sound really weird with just the audio. I can't... I'm not gonna read that. God! You even spelt it wrong! So anyways... I have two ghosts communicating right now. They seem rather pissed. Kill him! Kill him! God, I'm even starting to annoy myself. <laughs> Since we're talking about fear, um, I used to have this fear as a kid. I used to have this fear that I would get in a car crash if I fell asleep in the car and I would die. For literally, for 18 years of my life, I think I slept in the car only four times at most when I was exhausted. Like... And, and those are only times when I actually, you know, knew what I was doing. But anyways, so last year I was visiting um, MIT. I was visiting MIT, and we, we finished that up, and we head back. Only a blizzard starts going, and it's me and this other person, uh, this girl named Izzy, in the car. Okay? We're going through New York. We're, we, we've got to, like, I don't know, like the halfway point hours-wise. And this blizzard just, like, snaps off as we go into a breaking point. So we're like, okay, let's drive again. We, we start driving and it snaps on! And she's driving. We, we're, we're, we're done singing. Hold on, wait, wait. We're done singing. And I just, like, look at her. I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be great. So I lean my uh, cat back, lean back, and for the first time I feel comfortable in a car. I feel incredibly safe. I trust my life in this, in, in the hands of this person. I close my eyes and literally within 10 seconds I feel the car jerk to the right, jerk to the left. I, I, I roll up and like, is he? And that voice, and we're sliding on ice across a bridge. We slide across the bridge, one lane over, stay in that lane, hit the guardrail, plow over a mile marker, we're skidding through the grass and towards this lake. We keep skidding. We go, and we're heading right at this lake. We, we slow down. We are... We, we just look at each other. The lake is right in front of us. None of us speak until I finally just take a deep breath. I'm like... 
Well, at least we have a beautiful view of this lake. 